Let's get to know the amazing sea animals. This is a crab. Crabs are 10-legged crustaceans, which are known to have very short tails, or whose stomach, abdomen, is completely hidden under the chest, thorax. The crab's body is protected by a very hard shell composed of chitin and armed with a pair of claws. This is a starfish. Its body shape is like a star, lives in coastal habitats, has five short, blunt, spiny arms on the surface of its body. The means of locomotion are ambulacral legs. This is a spotted boxfish. This fish has a thick oval body. Males and females have different colors. The male is blackish on the back with white spots and has bluish sides with bright yellowish bands and spots. Females and juveniles are dark brown to black with white spots. This is a manta ray. Mantas have triangular pectoral fins, horn-shaped head fins, and a large mouth that faces forward and have the largest brain-to-body ratio of all types of fish. This is a narwhal. Narwhals have an appearance that can be said to be unique because it is different from whales in general, namely the long horn on the head of the narwhal whale. Narwhals are a type of carnivorous animal because this whale has rows of sharp teeth that can be used to eat sea animals such as fish, shrimp, or squid. This is a sailfish. Sailfish is a marine animal with a unique body. It has a slender body with large fins. In fact, it has a long and pointed snout. Another unique thing about sailfish is their very fast growth. Female sailfish can produce up to 4.8 million eggs. Then, they will hatch in about 36 hours. This is an octopus. The special characteristic of an octopus is that it has eight arms, not tentacles, with suckers in the form of concave dots on the arms, which are used to move on the seabed and catch prey. The octopus arm is a muscular hydrostat structure that consists almost entirely of layers of muscle without bones or exoskeleton. This is a clownfish. The typical clownfish is characterized by a combination of yellow, orange, brown, or black, and has three white stripes. The vertical white lines on this clownfish consist of light-reflecting cells called iridophores. This is a Moorish idolfish. The body of this fish is circular and tends to be slender with dorsal spines extending backwards whose filaments grow longer as they get older. The mouth has a yellow saddle on the top. The basic color of the body is white with alternating black and pale yellow stripes. This is a Batana blue tang fish. The color that covers the body of the fish, called dory, is dominated by dark blue, which appears at the start of the head, base of the front fins, base of the body, stomach, and base of the tail. Apart from the blue color, there is also a yellow color, which is clearly visible on the tail and upper side of the body. This is a zebra shark. The characteristic of this shark is that it has a short, blunt snout and a long tail. They are called leatherback sharks because of the protrusions on their backs. On average, adult zebra sharks grow to be 2.53 meters long. This is a lobster. Lobsters in general have a body with very hard and thick skin, especially on the head, which is covered with large and small spines. The lobster's eyes are somewhat hidden under the shell of the abdominal segment, which has sharp and strong spines at the end. This is a walrus. Walruses are mammals that are close relatives of seals and sea lions. The most unique characteristic of walruses that differentiates walruses from seals and sea lions 
is their tusks. The walrus has a pair of very large and long tusks, which its two relatives do not have. 